Evening, sweetheart. Sorry I had to call you in on such short notice. Forget about it, Rexus. You know I owe you enough favors anyway. I'm here whenever you need me. I knew I could count on you. You always seem to uh, exceed my expectations. Unfortunately, the other day I had to let go of one of my girls. This her? Bonnie? Good job, Rexus. You scored hard with this one. It's a shame, really. She had something of mine, and I needed it back. So I had Kingsley take care of her. But after last night's incident, I don't know if I can trust him anymore. Wow, you really know how to pick him, eh? Well, that's where you come in, sweetheart. This package is very important to me. So I need someone I can trust to deliver it to me, personally. You'll rendezvous with Kingsley at Raya's diner later tonight. And get it to me before my flight the next day. I know I don't normally ask you to do this kind of job, but I hope it's not too much trouble for you. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, but fuck skinny bitches. If I wanted to walk around all day playing with sticks, I'd be a Chinaman. You know that girl Lights? Yeah. The singer. Yeah. She's hot and all, but way too skinny, bro. I'm a man who respectfully admires the gorgeous curves of the female anatomy. Now a girl with a lot of tits and ass is going to be heavier, but I say, without a doubt, I would take a little bit extra for a little bit extra. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, Fergie said uh, that's... Uh, you know my nigga Charles? Yeah. Have you seen his girl? When she walks into the room, the whole place gets louder. Damn! I wish he'd hook a brother up! You know what I'm saying? You must be Rex's number one girl. And you must be the fabled Kingsley. And you are? Chris. Chris, could you give us a minute? We gotta work out some business here. So what are you doing tonight? Just give me the briefcase. Do you have any idea what you're giving Rex is here? Oh, and I know I don't have to remind you, but the contents of the package are for my eyes only. My job is to deliver the fucking briefcase, not to stick my nose where it doesn't belong. And uh, dealing with obnoxious assholes wasn't a part of the job description either. <laughs> we got a merc with the mouth here! I hope this is not the last time we meet. I do. Oh, yeah, well, maybe next time we can swap numbers instead. And at that moment, she knew.
She had to have it for herself. You can't. Fuck! You can't. You can't. can't. Rexus has only been good to you. You can't do this. But you can! But you can! Rexus has only been good to you. I gotta go. I gotta go. Yeah, well, maybe next time we can swap numbers instead. Just bring it up to the register when you're ready, hon. Okay, thanks, babe. What the fuck? I thought I got rid of you. Hold on, partner. Calm yourself. I didn't come for vengeance, I just gave a talk. Talk? Dead people don't talk. This is fucking George A. Romero shit. How the hell are you still alive? Well... <coughs> I guess they build girls a lot tougher these days. I mean, did you see that girl who just walked out of here? That's bullshit, Kara Top. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't waste you where you sit. If you notice, I didn't come here alone. That lady lump loving motherfucker over there will put a bullet in your skull if you even move. Silly rabbit. <laughs> you didn't actually think I'd come in here by myself, did you? Take a look around you. I've paid off half the people in this little diner to be here, and ever since you sat down, they've had their crosshairs set on you like Biggie on Pop. Okay, Artemis Bob. Let's talk. So there's this thing that once belonged to me, and it now no longer belongs to me. It now belongs to somebody else who wrongfully believes it belongs to them. You know what I'm talking about. Rex's is packed. <laughs> My package. Do you even know what's in that precious little briefcase? My precious little briefcase? <laughs> okay, take it easy, Gollum. Now don't underestimate me. There's two things I don't know about in this world. The future and what's behind me. So you can bet your skinny little white ass that I know what's in that package. That at one point you must have thought about taking it for yourself then. Am I right? And you know a man like Rexus can't get his hands on something like that. Not again. I need your help. We can do it. Just imagine the possibilities. Tell me the whereabouts of that package. Who has it? Never did like the bastard anyways. But you're just lucky I like a girl with a nice rack.